One of the most fun things about raising chickens is of course their eggs. And it's even more fun when they're different colors. When we first started raising chickens, we just kind of inadvertently picked all brown egg layers. Growing up, that's what color eggs my grandparents' chickens laid and I didn't really think about that there were other color eggs, but it didn't take too long before I realized that there are chickens that lay blue eggs and green eggs and of course white eggs. So it's really fun to have a colorful egg basket. This is Amy, she's a black Americana. You can see that she has these cute little cheek puffs and a little beard. Because she has virtually no comb or waddles, she's really cold hardy. Despite having originated in South America, Americanas are really great in Maine because normally frostbite would occur on the comb and waddles. And since she doesn't have much of either, she's really, really well suited for our farm here in Maine. Because she's an Americana, Amy lays beautiful blue eggs. So this is Mean Kate. She's Amy's sister. Mean Kate is a blue Americana. So she's the same breed, just a different color variety. This is Clarabelle. She is a lavender Americana, so a third color in the same breed. She also lays blue eggs, small comb and waddle. Clarabelle is, is kind of the clown of the flock. Super friendly. She follows me around like a little puppy dog. She's my girl. Um, completely different personality than Mean Kate. And Clarabelle also lays, Clarabelle, this is your egg. Clarabelle also lays pretty blue eggs. You can kind of see a trend here. I really like pretty eggs in my egg basket other than brown or tan. So these three are all same breed, different color varieties. This is Abigail. She's Amy's cousin. So it's Abigail Adams and Amy Adams. But she's their cousin because she is an olive egger. So she's half Americana, but half a brown egg laying breed, probably a uh, French Morons because they have the dark brown eggs. So she has the same cheek puffs and beard as the Americanas, but she has a little bit bigger comb like a Morons would. And she also has feathers on her feet like the Morons have. So she's a mixed breed and she lays olive green eggs. This is Sage. She is one of our new girls from last spring. She is a Favicana, which is a new designer breed that's not really technically a breed at all, but she's half Favorol half Americana. So what they did was take the blue egg laying Americanas and cross them with Favorols that lay sort of a cream colored egg. The thought was since Favorols aren't very hardy, they're really timid and Americanas tend to be a little bit more aggressive. By mixing the two breeds, you would get something like a happy medium. Sage is, is a mix of the two breeds and she still has the cheek puffs, a very little comb. Um, she's, she sort of has feathers on her feet because Favorols do have feathered feet. Um, but her name is Sage because she lays pretty sage green eggs for me. So, so far she's been good. She's again very cold hardy because she has the small comb since both of her parents were small combed breeds.